It is a lot of money, $199 million, but where to spend it all? It's what the city of San Antonio is trying to figure out right now. They've already committed $127 million from the American Rescue Plan Act, or ARPA. Garrett Berger tells us what else the city may be considering. It was a high-level discussion today. Buckets of funding. Uh, rather than a lot of discussion about individual allocations. The city staff talked about what community members and businesses had said they wanted and what staff was recommending for the $199 million from the American Rescue Plan Act still left to be allocated. Housing, mental health and infrastructure were among community members' top priorities. And small businesses had their own concerns. Some of the things that they discussed were things like grants to micro businesses, loans, and they even discussed child care stipends. City council members had also asked for options on premium pay, paying extra to city employees who had been on site during the pandemic. Well, the city manager also had staff run an option that would pay all city employees. From my perspective, I think we ought to be treating everybody the same from an employee standpoint. And while the discussion was meant to be high level, nearly all the council members mentioned their support for giving money to Morgan's Wonderland, which had dozens of supporters in bright green in council chambers. Because we're having these type of discussions and because the special needs community has been hit so hard by COVID, we felt it was important to make that statement. Mayor Nuremberg reminded council members that on top of ARPA, the city's also considering its next bond program, a federal infrastructure bill, and possibly further federal funding. So when it comes to any given revenue stream, any single given revenue stream, we have to think about this as being one element of a larger whole. Well, staff had recommended breaking out the rest of the ARPA money like this based on today's conversation, some going to the COVID-19 response, others immediate or long-term needs. Now, staff may tweak this framework a bit before council passes a final version in February based on today's conversation. And after that February vote, they'll get into the nitty gritty of what specific programs they'll fund. Live in the newsroom, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.